So we'll move ahead with the second problem, uh, which is related to the following head permeability test. The statement of the problem goes as follows. In a following head permeability test, the initial head of 1 meter is dropped down to a 0.35 meter in 3 hours. And the diameter of the standpipe being 5 mm. So diameter of standpipe is given it as 5 mm. The soil specimen given it as 200 millimeter long and the 100 millimeter diameter. They have asked us to calculate the coefficient of permeability of soil in centimeter per second. And the option, if you look at towards the option, it, the option are same, just only the difference of 10 to minus 5, 10 to minus 6, 10 to minus 7, 10 to minus 7. So the answers are uh, in the range of 10 times of it. So to begin with, we must know about, we must have the clarity about the following head permeability test. We have discussed the this concept in the measurement of permeability by lab test. And in that measurement of permeability by lab test, we have seen the two different methods. One which is applicable for coarse grain soil like sands and gravels or coarse sands, hopefully and uh, one which is particularly used for the fine grain soil such as clay and sills uh, which is nothing but the falling head permeability test and uh, we have also seen the difference between all those two tests just like the name says constant head means the head loss which is occurring will be maintained constant throughout the test in the constant head permeability test while in falling head permeability test the total head loss is not constant so it is the head is falling with respect to a time and with respect to time we'll be noting down by how much amount the head will be lost in consecutive time intervals and by applying some formulation we've derived the formulation for the estimation of the coefficient of permeability of the soil so if you recollect the formula which we have derived then it's uh, very good so what is the formula we derived this formula coefficient of permeability of the soil is equals to small a into capital L divided by capital A into small t into ln or log to the base e h1 by h2 we have derived this formula we have derived this formula to evaluate the coefficient of permeability by following head permeability test you see uh, by looking towards the question you need to practice because in the constant head formula is relatively easy q equals to kia but in following head yeah it really breaks your head uh, but uh, how to if, even if you don't remember a formula uh, how to proceed with so I assume you don't remember the formula and we'll go ahead with it. If you recollect the basic definition of the falling head permeability test, which is nothing but the head is consistently falling with respect to time. So that from that only particular definition, we'll go and derive this particular formula in very quick uh, time within the two, three minutes, we can do it. For that, I need to draw a diagram. So this is the soil, which is placed in the con container. And to this soil, we have attached a, a porous stone obviously on the top so that only water can go and into the bottom. Only water can seep through the soil. So this is the soil. And uh, to the top of which we have attached a very small diameter stand pipe. This is the stand pipe. And to the bottom we have collected the water in the reservoir. Suppose this is the reservoir. Let's consider this is the reservoir. And this is the water level in this reservoir. Let's assume. And this is the porous stone. So that only water can go. No soil particles will move uh, along with the water. So this is the stand pipe. And so let's suppose the initial head is H1 from major head from this particular level so this is the initial head h1 and final head after time interval t is h2 
So at time t equal to 0, head is equal to h1. At time t equals to t, head becomes equal to h2. And uh, the rate at which the head is depleting, so there is a small change in the head dh within a small time interval dt. So this is the rate at which the head is depleting. So therefore dh by dt into the area, cross sectional area of the standpipe. So I'll write it over here. A, A is cross sectional area of standpipe. And uh, I'll consider this as the length of the soil specimen length and uh, this particular is nothing but the area of the soil specimen or I'll call it as area of flow which is occurring through soils. So minus A into dh by dt because the head is depleting with respect to time. So it's minus A dh by dt which is nothing but the Q and what is Q? Q is just the AIA right but over here I is nothing but the head loss h2 minus h1 divided by the length of this one. So I'll write it over here just the h by l into a. So minus dh by dt becomes equal to kh by l into a. So I'll bring h to this side and dt to this side. It becomes minus a into dh by dt equals to k into k divided by l into a into dt. And therefore this becomes uh, equation in terms of dh and dt now you need to integrate in between the time intervals and between h2 to h1 and between t2 to t1 so if you integrate it you get the minus a you'll get minus a into uh, minus a into ln because the derivative of h integration of 1 by h is nothing but log of h because derivative of h is 1 which is in the numerator so it becomes the log of the denominator log of h but has to be in between limits h2 to h1 which is equals to k capital L capital A uh, by L into t2 minus t1 so if you recollect uh, then it's very good but if you not recollect this formula I am just deriving it within a couple of seconds for you uh, therefore, by looking towards this particular equation, I'll write it in the next page. So it becomes minus a ln of uh, h varying between the limits h2 to h1 equals to a a divided by l into t2 minus t1. So uh, therefore, from the by looking towards the same equation, at t equals to 0, h is equal to h1 and at t equals to t, uh, that is the time loss, the h becomes equal to h2 or right, t is nothing but the time interval. So time interval, uh, so therefore it becomes, t1 becomes 0 and this is t2, uh, t2 becomes equal to t. So and obviously ln h2 minus ln h1, so it becomes minus a ln of h2 divided by h1 equals to k a l by t. Uh, in order to calculate k, so what I will do, uh, I will bring minus 1 to this end raised to minus 1 over here by simply just log logarithmic property so it became ln of h1 by h2 and I'll bring uh, the small a as it is this small a as it is small a I'll take l to this end a l divided by a into t capital A into t is nothing but k and to derive this formula in a couple of seconds we have derived it so this is the same formula a l by a t but you must know what is small a what is capital a because a capital a is area of the flow and small a is the area of stand pipe so even if you don't uh, remember the formula you can derive it uh, just from basic the con basic concept q equals k a and equating it to the rate at which the head is depleting from a stand pipe so therefore this is a capital small a this is the area of stand pipe so therefore from the given data you can calculate all these parameters like uh, the small a which is nothing but area of standpipe, length of the soil specimen and the capital A which is nothing but the di uh, area of the flow uh, which can be evaluated by knowing the diameter of the soil and t is nothing but the time interval and h h1 and h2 are already given in the problem and the last thing is only to evaluation of the coefficient of permeability. So uh, I think uh, the data given I'll write it over here h1 is given it as 1 meter. 
from the question h1 is 1 meter and h2 is 0.35 meter small a you need to calculate pi by 4 into uh, diameter of stand pipe is given it as pi mm i need to convert it in the uh, meter meters it becomes 0 0.005 square so hopefully you, you can calculate in meter square and capital a and length is also given length is given the soil sample was 200 millimeter long the length is given it as 0.2 meter and uh, the capital a is given from the diameter of the soil which is nothing but 0.1 so we'll get the capital a in meter square from from or from this question capital a and the, just the only thing is asked to the evaluation of coefficient of permeability of soil and the same you will you'll be calculating just by placing all the uh, values back into the equation since you have placed everything in meter and uh, obviously the time t which is given it as 3 r you need to convert it in the second by multiplying it with 3600 and you'll hopefully you'll get it in the second and then you'll get the coefficient of permeability in uh, hopefully the meter per second the term because everything you are placed in meter and uh, the time it in seconds so you'll get the value of k as uh, but for that small a is required is, is uh, needed to be calculated so it becomes small a becomes uh, pi by 4 into d square becomes 0.96 into 10 raised to minus 5 meter square and this becomes 0.78 into 10 raised to minus 2 meter square right and just you need to place all these values 1.96 into 10 raised to minus 5 divided by capital A is 0.78 into 10 raised to minus 2 length is given it as 0.2 and the time t given it as 3 into 3600 into ln of h1 by h2 h1 given it as 1 h2 given it as 0.35 and therefore if you solve this particular expression and you place all the values in the scientific calculator you will get the value of k as this is the expression you need to place all or flinch all the values You will get this particular answer of 4.89 into 10 raised to minus 8 meter per second. But in the question, uh, the options are like this uh, 4.86. So, uh, anyways, 4.89, 4.86 doesn't matter, but 4.86 uh, into 10 raised to 8 meter per second we got. So, in order to convert the meter into centimeter, you need to multiply by the 100 so if you multiply it by 100 it becomes centimeter per second so from this particular thing the correct answer is if you multiply it by 100 it becomes 10 to minus 6 right so b is the correct answer for this question and uh, we've seen uh, even the how to even uh, derive all these formulas within a few couple of minutes so for the second problem answer is 4.86 into 10 to minus 6 centimeter per second and this finishes the second problem in the permeability of the soil chapter. Uh, we will move ahead with the next problem in a couple of uh, seconds. Thank you.